Now I'm going to introduce the president of UUP, Fred Cole. Thanks, Andy. And thanks to all of you. Uh, my name is Fred Kowalt. I'm president of United University Professions, representing the 37,000 faculty, staff, and healthcare providers in SUNY. Now, last Wednesday, on the floor of the U.S. Senate, Americans witnessed a colossal, colossal abrogation of duty by 52 United States senators. They voted to acquit President Donald Trump of committing high crimes and misdemeanors. It was a sorry display of political cowardice. Fortunately, we witnessed several individuals who remembered their oaths and their duty to protect our nation's constitution. Senators Mitt Romney, who bucked his party and president and voted to convict Mr. Trump, along with Senators Jones, Manchin, and Tester, Democrats who also voted to convict despite representing states that Trump carried by well over 20% in the 2016 election. It is good that such acts of political courage still occur. It is necessary, given how poorly the leadership of our nation is responding to the challenges facing our nation and how little respect they are showing for our Constitution. It is time now for New York's leaders to show the way forward, to show that our state can be a shining beacon of hope for progress towards a more just and sustainable nation. For our state faces the same challenges, the climate crisis, a worsening income and wealth gap, and public institutions of education and health care suffering from deficient funding for too long. What is needed today are what Robert Kennedy once called numberless acts of courage, political courage. Our state's leaders must embrace every step necessary to create a tax system that requires those who have benefited from a growing economy to pay more for the privilege of living in the greatest state in this union and for many of them for living in the greatest city in the world. To not take up the challenge of fixing the regressive tax system in New York this year will mean that our leaders are surrendering to the inevitable decline of our institutions of public higher education. It will also mean that political courage is as scarce a commodity in Albany as it is in Washington, D.C. The time is now. The clarion call has sounded. Who will show the courage needed to give New Yorkers a more just future? The kind of courage that President Obama meant when he defined it as the belief that we can dig deep and do hard things for the enduring benefit of others. That is the challenge we are summoning our state's leaders to face. They cannot fail us. They cannot fail our common future. Thank you. Thank you, Fred.